Isn't that for you? No. Yeah. Hit the snooze. The snooze only leads to more snoozing. Why don't you ever have to get up early? No early classes. Hit the snooze. I can't. I've got like... Six movies to put together. Eight reels each, full trailer packages. It's a big day. Hit the snooze. <laughs> We're not all students. Some of us have real jobs, you know? You gotta earn a real wage. Ah. Uh, fuck it. Hi. I'm the projectionist. You know that little window in the back of the theater where the movie comes from? That's me. That's where I work. You see, movies don't come on a DVD or a VHS tape. They still come on something called film. Like this. See, the film comes on reels in these cans back here, and when it first gets here, it's perfect. No scratches or broken purfs. It seems easy to deal with. The entire film is right here, and all I have to do is put it together in the right order and not fuck it up. Do you have any eggs? Eggs? Yeah. I'm gonna make you an omelet. I'm allergic to eggs. You're allergic. I'm allergic. To eggs. I'm allergic to eggs. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't know. It's okay. You're new. But you would have killed me. You know, if I actually ate the eggs. Are you gonna be okay? I don't know. I think I'm a little traumatized. I gotta admit. Will this untraumatize you? That's a good start. Allergic to eggs? I just love finding out new things about you. <laughs> the whole process starts over here, at the makeup table. As soon as I spin the film onto this bigger reel, I'm committed. Everything I do has a purpose and everything has a consequence. Take this little piece of foil, for instance. Now this may just look like a little piece of foil, but it tells a projector when to turn the motor off. This is the first thing I do, but if I put this in the wrong place, it doesn't matter if I do everything else to a T. It's already doomed. Until the end of time, I will always love you. <laughs> My god, we missed the whole movie. We're like teenagers. No, if we were teenagers, I would have been fumbling around with your bra for a half an hour extra. But I've gotten a lot better since then. Actually, I wanted to ask you something, but I'm kind of afraid to. I swear I put on a condom. You idiot. No, I... I was just wondering if, um, if you're seeing anybody else or if it's just me. It's just you. I just, I just want to make sure. What about you? Are you seeing anyone else, or is it just nope. me? Just you. Just me? It's just you. Ow! What the? <laughs> nice. Once the film is on the big reel, I have to cut off the very end of it leaving one frame attached. I do this because when I have a bunch of films and things get crazy, I can forget which reel belongs to which film. And that's kind of important because I'm essentially responsible for someone's night out. So forgetting the important things can piss them off and get me into trouble. See, I, I thought that you said that this thing was next week, but, but then I remembered that you told me that last week, and that meant that it was this week. I swear, once I remembered, I came as fast as I could. Once I remembered. And if these people you work with are as cool as you say they are, they won't mind if we're only a couple of minutes late. I only need two minutes. That's all I need. Shit. Uh, Jenny, I need a towel. Jenny, towel, please. Thanks. I swear, I didn't mean to forget. It just slipped my mind. I have a lot Don't of things- Don't give me this slip my mind shit. 
You forgot. Plain and simple. You forgot about me. And it's not like it's the first time it's happened, so I shouldn't be so upset, but... If you had paid any attention, you would have known how important this was to me. Now just don't let getting dressed slip your mind. Fuck. When I put the film together, I should make sure that both sides are strong, or it could completely unravel. I can't just assume that by taping one side, it will hold. Always double check. Even when you think you just fixed something and you think it's fine, double check. I mean, sometimes I'm in a rush to get this done and I miss something. Or sometimes... I think I notice something, but I just ignore it and I figure it'll turn out okay. Remember one thing, don't Professor Murder. I've got the guns. <laughs> what? That was stupid. How would you know you read through most of it? I watched what I could handle. It didn't make any sense. Well, maybe you missed a point or something. What? I don't know, maybe you just didn't get it. What are you saying? I'm saying that maybe you missed something or something. I heard your tone. I know what you're implying. Oh, what am I implying? What am I implying? You got the fucking remote or? When all the film is on the big reel, it comes over to this little makeup table. This is the film's last stop before the projector and the last place where I can catch a mistake. As I wind the film through all the pulleys and wheels, I try to remember if I've done anything wrong, if I've somehow ruined the film. I'd have to go through the entire thing, but if I really feel it's worth it, I can still save it. But, that's a lot to deal with, and it's only one show anyway, so I just usually spin it right on. Aren't there any clean dishes? Uh, probably not. Just rinse off one of those on the top. They're the newest. I can't live like this. Live like what? Like this. Like, when are you going to start looking for a real job? What do you mean, a real job? One that pays real money and has real benefits? Not free movies and popcorn refills. You know I do more than just tape film together, right? Do you know how many people have been inspired by those movies? You know how many relationships have started at those movies? But you have nothing to do with those films. You don't make them. You just... Put them together and press play on an oversized VCR. What are you, what are you getting at? It's embarrassing to tell people that you work at a movie theater. <laughs> that you have to wear a uniform. The other people there that are your age are your bosses. So you think I'm embarrassing, is that it? Ah, oh, that's great. Great. You know, I just... I love finding out new things about you. Thanks. This is one of the last things I do, but it's the most intimidating. This is what the audience sees. Once that film is flying through here at 24 frames a second, it's too late to fix anything. I've been doing this for so long that I can just go through the motions and not even think about it. Sometimes, I don't really try. And most times, I don't even care.
that's it. I've done all I can do. The thing is, is I never really know if I've done it right until it hits the screen, but by then it's too late anyway. But usually the film plays fine, the lights go down. The film plays, the lights come up, and everybody leaves happy. But every now and then I miss something and it all fucks up. The print gets burned and scratched and fucked. I just, I gotta remember the important things and keep doing it again. Like the little things, like foil on the frame, or, or making sure that I, I cut an end off. And I gotta remember the important things, like making sure the reels are in the right order. Remembering to be on time. It's the little things that get me. But films are always being released, right? I just hope I don't fuck it up the next time. <laughs>